Hello everyone and welcome to Great Ones, Coach Noy, and this will be our last video, although well, I can go on for many, many more games in a career that lasted for 65, 65 years. And I want pretty much to dedicate this entire video to the big battles with Karpov. I mean, they played uh, more than 100 uh, tournament games. Uh, I, I, I take few rapid and blitz games out. I mean, I think it is maybe the second biggest rivalry in chess uh, behind Karpov Kasparov, which, well, I would probably have to put it as the number one. Still, in a period of, let's say, seven years, 1974, 1981, they played three world championship matches. Uh, the personal stories and everything around it were just extreme. Uh, the first mm, game they played, I mean, there's one in the early 60s, but I, I suspect it is Simul. It doesn't say Simul, but I suspect so. Karpov was just too young, I, I believe. It was 62 or something. But in 1970, Karpov was already uh, a strong player. I believe by that time he already won the World Championship under 20 and well, he was establishing himself as the next stronger one of the strongest players in the world and I, I believe that the way that this game went is a, a great indication to how coach Noy won against Karpov I mean other than one game that was 19 moves we will discuss it in a second the games that coach Noy won were 79 moves, 50 moves, 60 moves, 61 moves, 79 moves, 71 moves. Those are from the 74, 78 matches. You get the clear picture. Coach Noy wins in a huge, big struggles, battles, long ones, end games where he managed to outplay Karpov. Mainly, I would say, because of his endless amount of energy. I mean, I, I don't know, Coach Noy's energy is something that seems to never end. And if you think those are just my words, I will quote soon what Kasparov was saying about Coach Noy. Anyhow, I, I just want to go to the position that obviously very equally stuff. White is a bit better here, but this is exactly the type of position that that Coach Noy managed to outplay Karpov. This is in their first game and, okay, won this one in 57 moves. Uh, most of the games were, I mean, by the way, I think this should be objectively, equal, I mean, drawish. I mean, White is, of course, a bit better, but that should be a draw. And, well, Karpov was a bit helping uh, White. But the next game that I'm going to show you. I mean, this used to be the shortest game, the shortest game in World Championship matches. I mean, okay, it's the final of the candidates in 1974, but really we can call it uh, the World Championship match. And also a hugely funny story about this game. So, okay. All right, this is all theory and so and so and so on. And knight takes d5. Okay, I was looking a little bit before uh, making this video, and okay, apparently some strong enough players uh, have been playing it in recent years. So I mean, especially Grandmaster Banikas, a, a Greek Grandmaster, above 2600. Okay, one game or so. Robert Fontaine from 2006. Benikas has game from 2009 and 2015 against Beliavsky. All the games will appear in the PGN. And, okay, this game was played by Benikas here, here. And, all right, apparently he thinks he can hold the draw here, which, okay, maybe White is a little, little bit better, but nothing too dramatic in Didi made hold two draws. All right. 